Welcome to the Weird Kid Show. It's awesome having you here today. So, uh, busy week for me this week. Uh, sometimes when I have a busy week and I know that I got a big build coming, I'll take a bye week, I'll put in a filler. You might see me and Haley do a toy review, or you might see an unboxing, or you might see some crazy tinfoil hat alien story or ghost story, whatever. I don't know. Uh, but... It's usually a bye week for me in those cases because I'm gearing up for something big. And there is something big coming, uh, possibly next week. Um, anyways, in saying that, <clears throat> as you guys know, I'm a member of the Trio Terror, which is myself, Keith from Cobwebs and Candlesticks, and Vic Springston from Monster Misfits. We are the Trio of Terror. We all build stuff. And we're building, for us, it's Halloween 365 days a year. But a couple of us, myself and Keith, um, sell a lot of the things that we make, okay? Uh, as to where I've been making a lot of monster bottles and different props and stuff that I sell, Keith is, for the lack of a better term, a sculpting machine animal. Because this guy is on fire with his sculpting and, um, and, and cat molding and casting these um, he's been doing a lot of these uh, refrigerator magnets, little monsters, creatures, and different things that are really awesome. Well, it got to the point where he thought, maybe it's a good idea I try to open an Etsy store, and that's what he did. So, down in the description, I'm going to provide you a link to Keith's Etsy store, uh, where you can go check out what he's got there. Now, keep in mind... Uh, not everything that Keith has done or does is on that Etsy store. So you might want to go over to Cobwebs and Candlesticks Facebook page and check out and see some of the stuff he's made there. If you don't see it on Etsy, hit him up. You say, hey, I saw that on your Facebook page, but I didn't see it on Etsy. Can you make that for me? I'm pretty sure he'll, he'll accommodate you. Uh, now, Brother Vic ain't set up yet to be selling stuff because unlike me and Keith, He's not content to do the smalls. He's going for big. And uh, we can see him. He's well on his way to doing something big, you know. So uh, keep an eye out for that in the future. Anyways, in typical Keith fashion, all I, I went on his Etsy page. And Keith has been doing these trophy fingers. Uh, like a zombie trophy finger on a ring. Uh, he started doing these Wolfman trophy fingers that I thought was really cool. It was a gnarly finger with a big old uh, gnarly fingernail claw and, and he put hair on it. Stuff looked fantastic. I loved it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to show my brother some love and order one of these things. Well, <clears throat> typical Keith, I get the package. Uh, it's not just my finger in here. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to unwrap this for you guys. I already cut it open and everything, but we're going to go in here and I'm going to do this unboxing and stuff. Uh, so, the first thing I'm grabbing here is... Uh, oh, that's cool. So, that this is uh, one of Keith's fridge magnets, and it's like a little zombie head. And he's got, he's got a little eyeball sticking out. And uh, I guess he poured it in, like, we'll call it a... I don't know if that's part of the resin. It's if you put some mica powder in there or what. Uh, it looks like uh, like a very dark, dark green, and then it's got some like toxic green swirls in it. And I don't think that's been painted. Maybe, maybe that was. Anyways, I love it. That's cool. It's going on my fridge. And uh, one thing I noticed in here too is he's. He diligently wrapped each one in bubble wrap. Now this is a padded envelope. <clears throat> this is, it's resin, you know, it's not really painted, so technically you could have just thrown that in the padded envelope as it is, and then it would have made it here just fine, but, you know, he takes the extra care to, you know, wrap it and make sure that it's all secure and stuff, so that's, that's, that's nice, nice to know. What do we got here? Oh, cool. Oh, we got some, uh, some little bow flies. Throw some little flies in there. That's cool. 
Ah, Monster Bottle. Now, I remember when Keith was working on these things. Uh, I started doing them, and then uh, he was like, hell, I, he went, he ran with it, too. And uh, But what he did was he, he was smart. He sculpted one, and then he molded it and cast it in resin, and then drilled a hole down inside of it, and then you just stick a little cork in there. And I know he was using, he's into like using mica powders for these things. But so this guy here, he's got one eye and then a little tentacle wrapping around. And then it almost looks like there's a little face on the back there too. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Looks like a little creature from the black. Lagoon. Anyways, that's cool. That's going to go on. Uh, that's going to go on a shelf might be incorporated into a build I've got coming. Ah, that's cool. <clears throat> now that's definitely my style. Uh, another fridge magnet. Now I love uh, exaggerated features. I like caricatures. I like freaky looking monsters, you know. Outlandish, exaggerated features. And, uh, and he definitely pulled that off on that one. And uh, I like that. That's These are all, anything he said, I'm keeping and it's going on. Uh, uh, you know, I would like to add some of the stuff to <clears throat> the the wall of fame up here, the the weird wall. Uh, in one of my videos, I explained to you that I'm going to do that. Everything that people send me, I'm going to put it up here. You can't see it. But uh, maybe I'll mount a piece of metal up there where I can put, put some of these magnets. Oh, we got some more flies. And more flies. That's cool. Kids will play with those. Anyway. Oh, man. So this. Ah, I can't believe he did that. This is one of Keith's locks. So Keith sculpts these locks. Okay. Um, and then pours them out of resin but the thing about these locks is that they're functional okay so he's figured out a way where you, you with the screw you can undo that screw and you can actually pull this out hook it on your chain and then put it back together and then screw it uh, back in there and I had mentioned to him that in this big project that's coming <clears throat> that I was thinking about getting one of his locks for this project. I don't want to. I don't want to give too much away on that. And um, so I was going to buy one from him, but damn, he just went and sent me one for free. Now he's got a bunch of different ones of these, and I think there's only one uh, sample uh, on his Etsy store. I think it was like a skull. Uh, if I remember correctly so like I said uh, go check out his Facebook page and check out all the stuff he's got because not everything he does is on his Etsy store he's only got a small handful of things on his Etsy store that he's actually has or done so if you you're better off going to Facebook uh, if you don't see what you want on Etsy and then you know especially his locks because I don't think there's anybody that does locks in the industry for haunters. You know, and let's face it, it is uh, it is something you need. It, it just supplements a scene, you know, and, and it's very well done. I like that. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm going to use that. <clears throat> what else we got here? Oh, that is wicked. He sculpted this little snail, molded it, and poured it in resin. And on the shell there, I don't know if you can make it out, but right there is a, is a skull. Right there. And he is beautiful. Very well done. Nice color. He's got little little lumps and stuff on his skin little wrinkles that's awesome you know what I don't think I'm going to put him on the fridge I think he's going to stay on my shelf thank you man that's awesome go check it out guys I'm telling you I don't think this stuff's on Etsy yet <clears throat> um, you know some of the stuff I can't remember what was on Etsy and what wasn't but 
If you see anything here, you go to Etsy, you don't see it and you want it, hit them up, hit them up, you know? Ah, oh, yeah, that's cool. I love that. It's, I remember when he sculpted that. It's a, a evil pumpkin. Uh, now, I don't know, there again, I don't know if that's on there. But you may go on there and go, hey, you know what, I like this, but I want it in black. You know, hit him up, hit him up. You know, ask. It doesn't hurt to ask. The worst thing he could uh, happen is he says, no, I don't, I can't do it, or whatever. But I doubt he will. What else we got in here? <laughs> I know what this is. I know what that is. That's Meth Mouth. We got Meth Mouth in the house. That's awesome. I love that. I remember when he first did that. And uh, he sent some to... I know he sent sent one to one of uh, our Facebook members there. One of our uh, followers and stuff. And uh, I remember they posted a picture of it. And I was like, man, I love that thing. I always love this thing. That's awesome. Uh, it's going on my fridge. So I might have to take a picture of my fridge because I've already got a bunch of quiche magnets on there already. And now I'm going to be adding some more. So what else we got here? Ah, yep. And he knows. I love my plague doctors. Because you guys know, I may, or maybe you don't know. Uh, I made a 1-1 one -one scale plague doctor. And ironically enough... Uh, I was trying to find a name for him, and Keith is the one who said, uh, Dr. Morbius. And I was like, you know what, I like that. That's his name, Dr. Morbius. And uh, that's awesome. I love that. So cool. Man, it's, it just keeps going. It's awesome. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's like a... It's like a brooch pin. And it's a, a spider. That is so cool, man. Thank you. But you know what? I haven't even got to the finger yet. And that's the thing. All I bought from the guy was the werewolf trophy finger. I haven't seen it yet. But uh, this stuff just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming. So, uh... And it's still, that's still not it. What do we got here? Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. We got, like, uh... It looks like a kind of like a horned demon skull. And it's got a, uh... A candle on its head. Now, I don't know. Because I know Keith is... <clears throat> he's a mad scientist now these days with the resins and the mica powders and all this and that. And I know he's putting stuff in these... In some of these, that's glow in the dark. So I don't know. Some of these might be glow in the dark. I'm gonna have to find out. Um, this one looks like it might be, but we'll we'll see. That's awesome. Cool. Another fly. Ah. Finally, what I bought. It's the first time I've seen this thing uh, firsthand. Oh, that is wicked. Check that out. That is so freaking awesome, man. A werewolf finger. He did a damn good job on it, too. Got a gnarly old claw in there. Looks like he used, uh, I don't know if he, Keith initially used, uh, oh, I think maybe they're separate, but... When I sculpt something like this, I use uh, translucent polymer primo, and then uh, you know separate. But and then you put hair on it, and then you put this ring. You can see where it's all bloody, where it's been hacked off. It's got some really, really nice details. I love that thing. It's beautiful, and it's got all the hair and stuff on it. And I think I'm going to incorporate that. Uh, I'm going to incorporate this monster bottle and the lock into this big project that uh, that's coming, okay? Um, so, in order for you to see this big project, if, you have, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You go down there, hit the subscribe button. 
uh, and then you click the bell. When you click the bell, when I upload a video, you're going to get notified, hey, the weird kid's uploading a new video. Hey, let's go watch it. Okay? And you'll be kept informed, and you'll know when I upload. Okay? I've been doing this a little over a year now. Uh, I don't think I've missed a week where I've not uploaded a video. <clears throat> but uh, we got some big projects coming. And one of them I'm going to start next week. And this one's going to be involved. I might have to make a playlist just for this build because it's it's very involved. Um, anyways, um, if you haven't done so already, go check out my brothers. So as I mentioned, Keith from Cobwebs and Candlesticks and Vic Springston from Monster Misfits. Together, we are the trio of terror. And um, anyways, guys, I appreciate you so much. Uh, and until next time, peace.